Hey everybody, it's me, I'm Doug Sharples, I'm your driver in command today and soon we're going to be leaving the rail export depot in a rainy Fallon. On board we've got, uh, wait me one second, we've got 14.74 tonnes of lye. Uh, we're going to be taking this corrosive material, it's a hazard 6 material to Vernal, which is in Utah, 680 miles away. So this, what we're carrying is a hazard, a class six hazard tanker, which means that it is dangerous and toxic goods and infectious infectious substances is a hazard to life if ingested uh, you can tell that it's dangerous because on the side of the trailer it's got a yellow and black diamond with a corrosive symbol on it um, if it's got skull and crossbones it's toxic so it's uh, hazardous to life Life. Life flakes it is. So we're just going to go even soon. Uh, we're currently on 50. I've just been given a $400 speed in 5 for being 5 miles an hour over the speed on it. And it didn't show it until I went through the lights. It's a bit of a ball, eh? But not to worry. Oh, I've done a bit of research on life because I got I got interested in it. Uh, I was curious. Uh, we're going north on 95 anyway. So, um, yeah. So I was I was reading up on it and seeing what it is, and it's caustic soda. Uh, it's also known as metal hydroxide, which is a strong alkali. Alkali. Highly soluble in water. It's most commonly known as caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, or potassium hydroxide. And it's mainly used in the manufacturing of soap, soap flakes, uh, cleaning fluids. But surprisingly enough, um, if I'd have known what it was, I want to draw like a divvy like I do. As you can tell with me flying past this uh, Winnebago. So I drove like a bit of a cotton. So anyway, like I'm saying, um, I was a bit shocked because in the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. It's used in meat in, in meat manufacturing. Food manufacturing. Oops, Jesus Christ. I'm going to wipe the court out. Uh, I went to Hong Kong a few years ago and if I'd have known that this was used in the food manufacturer I wouldn't have eaten the food. Needless to say that yeah, I did eat the food, quite tasty and uh, it was only until the latter stages of my stay in Hong Kong that I found out it was cheaper to eat Chinese food than it was to eat Western food. Very expensive order in Hong Kong, very expensive. But, the thing is being a Westerner over there, if you eat like a Westerner, then you're getting charged top dollar. Um, in the UK, one dollar was one Hong Kong dollar was about ten pence. So when you're being charged one hundred and sixty dollars or a cheeseburger, which equates to about sixteen quid. 16 pounds 
about 20, 20 US dollars, 25 US dollars. That's a, that's a mighty expensive meal. Uh, I think I don't drink. I'm not completely teetotal, but I don't drink. And I was drinking Coca Cola. That's not an advertisement for Coca Cola. There are other soft drinks available, and it cost me $88 for a can of Coca Cola, which is around 8 quid. So well, that's how expensive it is over there. Swallowed, it can destroy your digestive system. Well, that really does prove that it's harmful chemical to be hauling about. I need to uh, be careful on this journey with it. I'll just give me crap into that here. Well, we're currently. Uh, Running past Winnemucha. I think that's how you say it. Winnemucha. Winnebago. Winnewatch. I'm absolutely fine with this. No raining. Seven now. The updated version from SCS. Well, because this is a modded truck. On the new updated version, you can open and close your windows. But this is a modded truck, so this is an international 9800. Is a classic. I'm getting a bit bored of it now. I'm thinking of uh, in a few journeys time changing it over. I want to try out the new Mac Anthem which has been included in the 1.37 upload. Oh you oh, yeah. oh. know. Let's have brakes on then. Of a shunt. Could they not have pulled that onto the hard shoulder and left the two lanes clear? I thought it was really going to clear up, it seems to have got heavier. Well, I think we're. I'm not too sure how the. Um, system works in the US. No, when in uh, the UK we've got motorways like the M1, the M6, the M61, M62, but they're going any direction. I 
M1 goes from south to north, M61 goes east to west, M62 also goes east to west, the M6 goes south to north. But I know I, I believe that the, uh, the routing system that they have in America that if it's uh, even number could go east to west, west to east, on odd numbers go north to south and south to north. Oh no, I'm not too sure. I think I, I read it somewhere. Not too sure. stopping Get another shunt there I'm going to tell you now about me on the playlist, what I've got. Some of you have probably already seen it. The uh, Euro Truck Simulator playlist. That's got all the new... Got all the DLCs from SCS. It's also got now the Rossmark Pro Mod 2.46. Uh, Row extended, four mods from Middle East add on. That's quite an extensive map. This map has uh, Coast to Coast, and a Dream, and Mexico Extreme mod. Uh, I've got. I do have other profiles, but I. On some of them, I don't have all the map combinations because they can be liable to crash if they're not in the correct order. Why, well, if you're any map combos, if you're interested in them, you just download them. Um, person content creator to watch is one back trucker. This waterway off and have to detour us. Can't get back on there. I have checked this really tight, and I know there is another way to get to Vernal, but unfortunately, it is. Around a three to four hundred mile detour. We've currently got four hundred and twenty four miles to go. And plenty of accidents knocking about. But, uh, Only 14 minutes into the video, and that's the fourth one I've seen. Some bad drivers about, some bad AI drivers around. Some bad human drivers around. I'm one of them.
down in the Elko. This is my home base. That is my garage. I come out of. Got two employees. We got two on this one. It could be two, it could be five. I know I've got five on one profile and two on another. Not too sure which one it is. I need to start earning me some bloody money. If we're going to expand, that is. heading back west on 80 as you can see it was it's now 817 miles which is longer than the original journey when I started out so that is one heck of a detour things up my sleeve. Keep it on it down or up. Of, uh, doing something different on the road in America. Not driving backwards either. Got a new job. Can't do that. No, just drive forwards on it. I've got to say that these developers that have done coast to coast, uh, they put some off-road routes on. They've done a, they've done a cracking job. I wouldn't like to drive down them at night. Like, those have eyes if you ever seen the movie. I've never seen the movie, the Hills have eyes. Uh, Home about a family that decided to take a detour cross country and they crashed a car and stuck and one by one like a family of mutants and they killed the family one by one I think there's one survivor out of it all that uh, as it is there's always a hero in a film one survivor I can't remember it's that long ago since I've seen the film and I 
I've never watched the remake of it. I always watch the original. Because the originals are the best. I think the original was in 1978. Is the way before some of you viewers were born. Means I'm really showing my age. There we go. Uh, off roading at night. Get past him while that bus is coming down the other way. 35 miles per hour speed on it. Why he stopped all the miles away from it? to tell you that we're taking this load to Kemso as well, chemical plant it should have given me some indications of what was on board We're going to be paid well for this job. We're going to get thirty thousand dollars for it. Apparently, got four hundred and seventy-two in the bank. Got enough to buy another two or three trucks there. After the next job, and now do a video and buy a few trucks. Hire a few more drivers, make our company a little bit bigger. Everybody's staying safe in this lockdown. These uncertain times. Not good. I know the like that. I for one, I'm classed as a key worker, so I'm still when I can do my bit. Bank card in the UK, and I was grateful to have four days off. Gave me time to rest my weary bones. We had a few lions.
nauseous this. suspension any good. Ah, Mac. Yeah, baby. <sighs> All I need to do now is find some work sleep. and Ely. Week is coming up soon. Hopefully we'll five, find somewhere to sleep there. Ben's just gone to bed so I've gone over my time now. These trucks and cars keep flashing me because I've got the main beam on. I'm not turning it off. Flash off. <sighs> yeah, I know. You don't need to tell me I'm getting tired. See you somewhere to sleep anyway. Going in there. Eureka, Nevada. In here. We've still got 550 miles to go after I've had this rest. Should do it all in one trip. Hopefully, provided there's no more detours. Five thousand one hundred and ninety-six. Drive, driver Yana K. And driver, driver Yana K has leveled up. Excuse me.
here. I don't know why it's not. But normally when it's discovered the, the name on the uh, map now goes yellow. But it's not been discovered, it stays white. But I'm driving through the town and not discovered it for me. Maybe because it's a phone in the course to course map. Coming up to where I set my waypoint when the detour was on, I, I go onto my map and I cut that out of the video. If you want to see that, what I do, which way I go, then leave a comment and say, Yeah, I want to see that. Interaction with you, you all. Another 8,500 driving my car. That's me. Bank balance up to 480,000. Yeah, I love the interaction with you. I want you to ask me questions. Uh, anything you want to know. You're into this trucking and you've got truckers MP I'll leave a link in the description down below of the virtual trucking company that I drive for which is Grant and Sons by all means give them a look out if you want to drive with us apply and it's more than likely you'll be accepted just a couple of stipulations that you've got to do 3,000 miles in a month on both platforms or if you've only got one platform if you've only got the Euro truck and 3,000 miles in that you've got ATS and not Euro truck do 3,000 miles in that you know join the discord you'll be invited to join the discord once accepted. Joseph S has brought some more money into me, I missed that. He's also leveled up. You have to download Trucks Book and then leave it open for every journey you do and it gets logged automatically come through a red light there why did I do that? seeing it change I've just been fined $700 for going through a red light oh it changed I had enough time to stop just decided to swerve out the way and go through it. That's bad driving on my part. I'll stop at these.
If you see while I'm steering, you see jerky movement, that's because I'm still using the joystick at the moment um, to have a steering. But unfortunately, my desk doesn't accommodate it. asking the missus and I keep bugging her and bugging her and bugging her. They have done for about the last four months. on death here. I will look around. I am thinking of uh, doing some live streams on Twitch when I'm on my days off. At this moment in time, because of circumstances what we're in, COVID-19 and my in-laws can't get out so what me and my wife Mrs S is doing is we go and do the shopping for them uh, which is a bit of a strain on us because we live 10 miles away from them Um, right, on my day off, which is a Tuesday, that's what we do. We have to go and do the shopping. Or well, while we do their shopping, we do our own shopping. I'm not bothered about, you know, circumstances, the circumstances that we're in. Yeah, we've got to help each other out, you know. But where we go shopping, they have um, arrows down the aisles, so you can go down which, you know, you've got to follow the arrows. But people are ignorant. And the, the thick, some people are so thick so stupid you get told and the main ones for it are the actual staff that work in stores anyway but well, you're following the arrows you're following the signs to say go this way go this way you can only go this way and then you've got staff that are, are walking up beside you not adhering to the social distancing rules no, it's it's beggar's belief I know they've got to do their job and they're doing it, they're doing it's tough for them. I know it's tough for them. But if we've got to stick by those rules, and where did he come from? I didn't see him in the mirror. It's another $900 fine. What's that now? Is that two crashes? That's $1,800. Two red lights. The red lights. 700, that's 2500. Nearly 3000 dollars in fines. That's one tenth of the total what I'm supposed to be getting. Oh my. Yeah, so, you know, if we've got to stick by it, 
Then there she wants to spit fire, yeah. So you've still got people that are buying silly. This, I'm, I'm going to make a statement now, and this COVID-19 is not over. It's not over by a long chalk. I know there's been a lot fewer fatalities, but with things starting to be relaxed a bit more, and I'm going to hold my arms up, and I may be wrong, but I think there's a second spike. There's going to be a second wave of this coming because people are idiots. Some people are absolute idiots. And they're walking around in gangs of well, families of six, seven, eight members. There's five members in a car. When we go shopping, it's me, Mrs. S, and that's it. And she stays in the car. She sits in the car. And I go in and I do the shopping. And I don't go through the till. I use the scan and go. I know what I want, I know where it is. But it's just in and go. In, do what I've got to do, get out. Get the dog out for a walk and there's Groups of four and five people sat in gardens. You know, from a few different households. One of them, one of the worst ones is somebody who lives near me and they're at it constantly. Got family members round, but they're, they've got friends round, they're at the front door, in the back garden. Sometimes there's five, six, seven, eight people that are congregating all together. And that's what I mean, some people are idiots. Not all, just some. Oh, I can't do this, what's going to happen? Going through a vehicle inspection. So I believe that there's something now that tells you if your truck is unroadworthy. We'll see what it says. I'll put the truck to the other head and activate the icon to put an inspection. Yep. The vehicle is not perfectly technical. Oh, it's not. Because I've got damage on it. Well, that could just be the tyres or anything. Two miles from the destination, five hours away. 
back and like the one in the tick. And uh, I've just put screws on the back. Also, the uh, new DLC for ATS is imminent, which is Idaho. I've seen a couple of uh, preview videos for it. Uh, very impressive. Just wondering if we'll get any new trucks with that. the CS website so um, have a look into that and also that being due be the new DLC for Euro Truck Simulator which is the Iberian Peninsula which is Spain and Portugal and what I believe to see a world truck simulator oh, we're just coming down the 80 intersecting dissecting Salt Lake City and Ogden Too far away, just over 200 miles to go. It's about, it'll take about 10 minutes to get to get there. Then I'll park the truck up badly. I am not an expert at pushing these trucks in, even though it's only a simulator. I am nowhere near as proficient as I should be for the amount of journeys that I've done. So we're coming off at this next intersection, off the 80 onto the 40. Ward, Ada City and Vernal. I really need to invest in track eye or something, some sort of head eye coordinating thing. I did do a few live streams off my Xbox, the Xbox One, but I found them to be, um, I found, yeah, it weren't the best, kept getting interrupted, 
you know, wireless interruptions and that. The routing based at my house. And I don't want to have wires, cables running all the way through the Because that would mean ripping four boards up, going through ceilings, and I've got flooring down in every room. But I'm not going to rip all that up just for the sake of a few cables. Down again. It's gonna be dirty by the time we get here. I hate parking up in the dark. Just prefer to. Uh, I do the difficult parking. I try and do the difficult parking every time, unless I'm in a rush on the music going, saying I'm gonna be late in it. I try and do the difficult parking. May take a while. Dark up, but I do get there eventually. I've got enough time to get there, and the driver's got enough driving time to get there. There it is, three quarters, I think. Yeah, by the looks of it. We want to be in under. 110 plus miles to go. Get me about two hours to get there. In game time, not real time. If I wanted to do it in real time, I'd go on um, the mod that is the route for the ice road truckers that's on a one to one scale that's in real time I think I did one job on it and it took me about seven hours when you're in snowy conditions and you can't see the road I ran off the road about three or four times it was difficult, it was hard, it was tedious Too far away now. I'll get the job off. It's 
that's it for that. And this truck because there's nowhere to pass him. Thirty more to him. Void up his inside. In that. Got to get there soon. It's only 30 miles away, but we need to be there shortly. You don't need red lights. Change. Come on, change. Go. Go. limits right? I can see the city in front of me city's up ahead Thank you very kindly. Thank you, thank you. Oh, quite a few miles out. Considering we're so close, back off roading again. Downhole! Right, where do you want this piece of shazen? I've reached your destination. You want it? Oh, it's 40 XP for difficult parking. I don't want to turn the lights off.
We're almost there. It is quite a long tanker. There we go, there we go. Get our cash, let's get paid. Right, I'm gonna call that a day. Uh, 30,000, 2,575 XP. So, remember, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll join you all next time.